dumbass teenagers getting slaughtered. Sign me up. I'm in. Let's see some blood. We open the movie straight up with the movie title. No time wasting on this one. And we open with this prick sitting on the cliff, contemplating to end it all. What a weak, wishy-washy little prick. And we move on over to the Kuroka Festival, where they're crowning a new queen. Let's take a look at the candidates. Number one looks like she just took it up the ass. And number five looks like she can give you a fucking choke slam. It's gonna be hard to pick a queen this year. And the gang are up on the balcony watching the show and enjoying Sarah Michelle Gellar's tits. Dude, she does these exercises, pump them up. You guys! I'm surprised because he looks like he'd like choke slam girl a little bit more. So the usual queen pageant uh, questions get asked and usual dumb answers. Where I'll pursue a career as a serious actor. We have a top lead role in Scooby-Doo if you want it, it's guaranteed an Oscar. And Sarah Michelle wins and no one gives a fuck. We move on to the after party. Everyone's having a good old time until Big Bang Theory, he fucking comes over trying to hit on all the girls and Barry wants to fucking smash him. <laughs> Weak as piss fight. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. So the gang fuck off and they all go drink drive to the beach. So they all get a little bit more plastered on the beach and they all have a little root. And then they head back on the road. But Barry the fuckwit, he ruins Ray's jeans. <laughs> and wastes a good bottle of scotch. And then shit gets real. <laughs> Who the fuck did they hit? It must have been a dog or something. And that makes it okay? You're a real fucking piece of work. They go searching to see what they hit and they find a body in the ditch. Is he dead? I don't know. Um, go see and give first aid, you stupid pricks. I think he's dead. Enjoy your jail time, fuckheads. Now what your fuck is gonna do? Then we dump the body. Great choice. So they shove the body in the trunk and they head down to the docks. And just when they push this prick into his watery grave... <laughs> the cunt's still alive! Praise the Lord! The fuckers still push him anyway! My crown! But he takes a souvenir. He's got my crown! Got your crown, bitch! Barry wants that shit back, so he jumps in. Once again, this cunt's still alive and no one helps him. But at least he got his crown back. Priorities. So they make a pact to never talk about this and take it to their graves. We take this to our grave! Let me hear it! Let us Chill, dude. She said okay. You fucking say it. Uh, I'm pretty sure she did, man. Okay, Barry, we take this to the grave. There, cunt. You satisfied? One year later. So Julie has a break from school and she heads home for the summer. And back at her mum's house, there's some mail there for her. So that person that knows is actually withholding information from the police. So Julie finds Sarah Michelle and Barry to show them the note that she got. I know what you did last summer. Ooh, what a crock of shit. Hey, 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 we'll be the judge of that. Now Barry is paranoid as fuck and he thinks the only person that could be fucking with him that might know is Big Bang Theory prick. So he pays him a visit. Look, you shit, we got your little letter. What the hell are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Max! You so he either just warned him uh, to back off or just incriminated himself. Either way, Barry's a fuckwit. Don't you test me, motherfucker! And oh shit, Big Bang Theory prick is pissed. I'll call the cops on your college quarterback ass! Fucking tattletale cunt. But Big Bang Prick, he gets on with his work, but once again he gets rudely interrupted. <laughs> he had nothing to do with the hit and run. Leave him alone. <laughs> well, he's fucked. So we move on to Billy working out like a tough cunt. <laughs> But he just still looks like a douchebag with anger issues. He takes a shower and when he comes out he finds a photo that some prick has left on the bench. 
Yuck. Cover that outie belly button, mate. Nobody wants to see that shit. Audi's fucking gross. But Billy doesn't give a fuck. He's more concerned about his wardrobe. My fucking jacket. All right, who fucking stole it? So Billy wants that jacket back, and being the tough prick that he fucking is, he goes outside to confront the thief. But this killer thief is a hit and run expert. <laughs> And you're fucked, Billy. And this fisherman gets out of his car to finish the job. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I swear. And look at Billy now. A typical tough cunt, now he's turned into a little pathetic, begging little wanker. And just when we were looking forward to his death... Please don't. Um, they fade out. Come on, man! We move on to the hospital, and unfortunately he survived and he's once again being a tough cunt. And you'd think it would be humble now, but I guess once a douchebag, always a fucking douchebag. So the gang's all there and they're trying to figure out what to do about this pickle. No. For the 40th fucking time, I couldn't see his face. We Fuck's sake, Barry. Do they even know that you were crying and you were fucking begging him not to kill you? <laughs> I said we find the fuck who's doing this and have a little one-on-one. -on -one. Fucking douchebag. So the girls fuck off and they decide to go do some investigation themselves on this matter. It's starting to become like a Scooby-Doo mystery. So they go up to Hickville and they go visit the guy that they killed sister. They pretend to be broken down and ask stupid questions. Egan, sounds very familiar. Did you have a, a brother or something? Sister would be thinking, why the fuck are you bringing up my brother, you little bitch? They ask if the brother had any friends and she said he only had one friend and she had a fling with him. So they fuck off. Later that night, after Sarah Michelle gets home, it looks like she's got a little bit of a visitor. But instead of a kill, we get a cut. <laughs> a fucking haircut, seriously, is that the best shit you can do? <laughs> this serial killer is fucking weak as piss. So Sarah Michelle, she calls up Julie and she rushes right over to help her with her fucking hair. But she hears a noise in her trunk. She pulls over and she checks it out. Chill out, bitch, it's just crabs. We all know you've had them before. Oh shit, and a dead body. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. Now the first thing I'd do is call the coppers, but she just runs like fuck. And she comes back with her crew to show them the trunk. Empty. Nothing but a dirty wrench. And this makes Julie go crazy. What are you waiting for, huh? For some kills, man. What are you waiting for? For this movie to get gory and actually scary. That's what we fucking want from you. So the gang go find Ray. And Barry being back to being a tough cunt douchebag again. You're gonna die. Wait, wait. Oh. With a bitch ass punch. So they have a bit of a boring ass argument, and Julie reveals. We think his name is Billy Blue. How do you know that? So they decide that they're gonna go back to the Hick sisters' house. While Sarah Michelle and Barry, they go to the 4th of July parade. And over at the parade, look who's in the crowd. It's Fisherman Lane Kills. So Barry starts chasing him like a tough cunt. Get my Got him. And it was just a defenseless old prick. What a fucking jerk off. And he didn't even say sorry, the prick. So over at the sister Hicks house, Julie starts spilling her guts. What happened to your brother wasn't an accident. There's more to it than that. I know. She's fucking on to you. You know what? Well, he killed himself. Now thank God for that. Now leave before you talk your way into deep shit. He went up there to die that night. That's where Susie died. Who cares? Just leave. But how do you know it was a suicide? Stop talking, idiot. He left a note. Okay, show us then. 
Ah, the same pen he used to write your notes. This isn't a suicide note. This is a death threat. Just keeps digging a bigger hole for herself, doesn't she? Where did you see him? He was crossing the road. We hit him. It was an accident. Expect jail time now, you silly bitch. Get out of my house. She's not in your house, she's in the front yard. But she's probably gonna call the cops on your ass now. Now back at the Queen Beauty show, Barry's enjoying the show. Eeh, she ain't winning. But we sure are because we're finally getting a kill. No! Yes, we've been waiting for his death. <laughs> and that's all we get. Weak as absolute piss. Sarah Michelle, she screams and tells the cops and they go take a look. There's nobody up here. That was a quick clean up on aisle two. She's hysterical as fuck, so the cops give her a ride home. But someone's broken down and they're uh, blocking the road, so the cop has got to get out and give them a hand. <laughs> and you're fucked. So she runs like fuck. And gets to her sister's shop just in time. I'm being attacked! But just before she got the back door locked successfully. <laughs> you're fucked. That's three kills with 20 minutes to go of this movie. Lift your game, fisherman, killer, man. And just when he's about to get his next victim, she bloody saves herself by jumping. <laughs> But she runs like fuck and the chase is still on. Got you, bitch. You're fucked. Well, Scooby-Doo will need someone else to solve this mystery. Now over to Julie and Ray on the dock. And Julie thinks she knows the killer. I think it was Susie's father, Ben Willis. He's a fisherman. Great detective work, Mrs. Hewitt. But they found David's body in the water. Yeah, I know, but I think Ben Willis killed David Egan. Cool story. But she sees the name on the boat. <sighs> and now she thinks Ray's a part of it all, and she runs like fuck. And is right on her trail. Oh! <laughs> oh. And a nice clothesline from hell. She jumps on the boat thinking this prick's rescuing her. But she sees some very disturbing things on the wall. I think you've found your guy. Getting away with murder. Oh, fuck. So Ray jumps on a dinghy and he makes his way to the boat. What a fucking hero. Welcome aboard, Ray. Cheers, dickhead. Missed cunt. Fuck, you're a shit killer. That's a bit better. Have a swim, Ray, you weak little prick. But Ray gets back on the boat because he's not done fighting yet. Man, this fisherman killer prick is the weakest slasher I've ever fucking watched on any fucking movie, man. But he gets straight back up and makes Ray look weak as piss now. <laughs> and it's a back and forth shit show here. And Julie is concerned now. When you leave a man for dead, make sure he's really dead. We need a hero. <laughs> Got him hooked. And away he goes. You're fucked. And into the drink you go, bitch. And now they think he's dead and it's all over. And the cops come on board to investigate. you have any idea why this man would want you dead? Fess up, guys. It's time to stop lying. No. None. Lies. What are we teaching the kids these days, man? Well, don't worry. The body will turn up. Oh great, this is a recipe for a fucking sequel. One year later, which means it's been two years altogether. And we have Julie taking a shower at her college. Hey girl, what you wearing? A towel? Hmm, I likey likey. 
What you got under there, girl? Don't you start with me. Look, you mister can ravage me in two weeks. Okay, but I love you. Yes, I love you too. Okay, bye. Bye. Then Julie sees she's got mail. Oh, shit. Pool party? You little fucking ripper. But it's not over yet. There's a message for Julie in the steam room. Oh shit, definitely a fucking sequel. And you're fucked. The end. Alright, let's be honest here, that was actually pretty shit after watching it again. I saw this at the cinemas when I was a teenager and I thought this was the shit. I loved it. I thought it was fucking the top notch fucking horror movie stuff when I was a teenager and saw it at the cinemas. Now, watching it again, this is a teeny bopper slasher and I never thought I was a fucking teeny bopper slasher fan. Watching this back again, I'm pissed off that fucking I enjoyed that when I was younger. People are going to hate me for saying that I didn't like this, but guess what? Watch it again from the start to the finish and it is not a good movie. It actually is not a good movie at all. Um, there's too much drama talking, a lot of talking in here. Uh, not enough kills, not enough gore, not enough blood. The kill scenes were fucking weak as piss. Uh, Barry is a tough cunt, just overplayed too much. They needed him to fucking die horrifically. If you're gonna write a horror movie and you're gonna have a douchebag fucking prick who's an asshole to people and he's gonna act like a douchebag, his kill, his fucking murder has to look fucking awesome. And he has to scream like a bitch for being a tough douchebag the whole movie and then he just absolutely gets made and looks like piss. That's the way you fucking fuck up a douchebag in a movie. Not like this. Not enough fucking kills. Not enough blood and gore. I'm fucking sticking with my guns. This was actually pretty bad, but I will watch the sequel. This one only gets 3 out of 10 blood popcorns. Back when I was a teenager, I probably would have given this 7 and fucking jerked off over it and said, let's buy a copy of it and watch it again. And watch it again. No, fucking 3 out of 10. What a load of shit. Um, some elements were cool, but it's just, nah, man. Just, look, you tell me what you think of this movie. But like I said, when I was a teenager, this was the shit. This was awesome. But now, <laughs> three out of 10. I should be a bit more generous and give it four, but I'm not in the fucking mood. I just got home from work and uh, no, fuck no. Three out of 10. Fuck you, fucking Sarah Michelle Gellar. Fucking uh, like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want. Uh, I don't even know what I'm watching next and filming next, but it's gotta be something better than this. So uh, it's not going to be part two until next year, at least anyway. So like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want. It's your life and I don't uh, uh, make you press any little button, but you can just click it because it's free. So just give it a little little click there, but do what you want. I'll see you next time. See you.